A letter from the government is at the center of a controversy over Social Security, employee rights, discrimination, and illegal firing. CBS 2's Rafael Romo spoke with one woman who was afraid she'd be fired after receiving a letter. I received a no-match letter in the mail saying that they wanted to make sure who I was. Alexandra Camacho is a citizen of the United States, but last year she was in danger of losing her job after she received a government letter saying her social security number did not match her name. I think that a lot of people um, don't come forward and talk about the problems that they have because they may be scared. They may be scared that the company will target them. They are known as no-match letters, and they simply indicate that there is an error in a person's social security number. But workers' rights activists say some companies are using these letters to discriminate against and fire employees. If someone is Latino or immigrant and a no-match letter comes in, the employer automatically suspects that the person may not be authorized to work. Officials with the Social Security Administration say the letter doesn't make any statement about immigration status or employment eligibility. And workers who receive the letter have 90 days to correct the information with the Social Security office. They're not an immigration enforcement tool. Workers' rights attorney Chris Williams says the problem is that the Social Security database being used to generate the letters is riddled with errors. He also says that citizens and immigrants alike may be affected by no match letters. It'll happen to Polish individuals, it'll happen to Canadians, it'll happen to any different ethnicity, white and otherwise. An independent audit reveals the files of about 17 and a half million people have some sort of error in the Social Security Administration database. More than 12 million are citizens. A federal judge in San Francisco ordered the Social Security Administration to stop sending the letters, but his ruling is only temporary. There will be a rally tomorrow at the Federal Plaza starting at 12.30 to protest the no-match letters. Rafael Romo, CBS 2 News.